あとすごい話題になってたそのコスチュームとか当時とそのままなのかどうなのかみたいなのがありましたよね、うん、また。<笑>まあね、あのいろいろ規制もあってね、露出してきちゃいけないとかね。なあ、そこ、まあ、ちょっとあんまり深掘りする気はないんですけど。いいのに、だって、フィクションだけど、その中に、あなたが入って冒険するっていうことでいいじゃないと思うんですけど。違うんですかね。<笑>な、なんですかね。だし、ね、まあ、フィクションという、自分の中のこうバーチャル体験での、あのノンフィクションだから、楽しければいいのにっていう。<笑>ねに思っちゃいますけどね、うん、あんまり露出するとね年齢が上がっちゃうっていうね全、まあね、年齢じゃなくなってしまうっていうのがあったりとかあ、まあ、ルールがやっぱなんか,かね、うん、広くろうと思うと一番厳しいところに合わせざるを得ないとかでも当時そんなこと思わなかったプラっていうのはねやっぱりねある種のねなんだろうな絶対心と言うべき善の名を借りた悪みたいなのがある、はいはい、あの全員が不快感を覚えないなんてことはないわけ、うんうんだって不快なことを覚えるどうこうでもいいわけよ、うん、だって綺麗汚いとかさ善悪っていう感じ方があるわけじゃん、はい、で物事はやっぱり根っこにあるのはやっぱり絶対やっちゃいけないことだけいくつかってそれをさえやらなきゃあとはいいじゃない、うん、そういうのがないわけよ、はい、だからやっぱりあのー、欧米英米の方から欧米の方から来てるその宗教的な概念から来るその正教徒の考え方ってアメリカにあるじゃない、うん、彼らのコンプラの都内狭い、うんでコミックスだけに全部その年齢であの区切ってやらなきゃいけない「少年ジャンプ」の漫画だったら「サーティンアップ」13歳以上じゃないと出せないそれ全部リテイクでなきゃいけないでそれを訴訟が起きるそのために保険も入らなきゃいけないもうコピーとねやるの本当面倒くさいでそっから日本も悪影響を受けてやってるから主人公もね男女選べるんだけど、うん、男を女選ぶって書いていけないのね、うん、タイプ1タイプ2なのね<笑>ねえ<笑>男女っていうんだろうと思うんだけどそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそ They remove, they've been removed from the sweet baby list with like some other company that I don't care about. And I'm like, okay, let's see what they do. Because knowing that the client doesn't like something doesn't mean that you will change for it. Like, the best way to explain this is like, I think that we all know that sweet baby is a bad brand to be associated with, right? But the other are not being considered as toxic as they should.、Uh, best example is、uh, Black Girl Gamer. They're not considered as a toxic brand as much as Sweet Baby. Is it good? Is it bad? In my opinion, it's bad. They should be. Everything from Black Girl Gamers, Hit Detection, Balance Patch, Silver String Media, Gamer X, Dragon Baby. Weird Ghost, Bare Knuckle, Van Henshin, if we're talking anime, as well as several others I am less familiar with. Should be considered as toxic. But the other part is that most of the, those companies did find a way to implement the DI consultancy inside the company. And Square is part of it. I know that they erased the trace, but that doesn't mean that they changed. Think about it. Like right now, the reason why the flashlight is back on the face is because they erase the interview with the Dragon's Quest remake creator and how they find it weird and stupid and downright、uh, dumb the fact that they have to adhere to the Western mind virus to be able to sell the game. There in the West. And I would say that as much as I understand, in my opinion, if they wanted to uncensor and having like maybe a bigger age rating or anything, they could have done it. Not put the body type and body type, and I don't know, they could have found a way to do it, in my opinion. Because the mobile games are doing it right now, but that's not the point. What I mean by that is that I understand. Why s q u a r e n i x would remove this interview? <laughs> And the reason is simple. 
bad publicity. <laughs> so now every Dragon's <laughs> every Dragon's Quest fan will not buy this game because they admit to have censored the game to please the Western Overlord because if they didn't, they couldn't have sell it. So how <laughs> many thousand of copy just been removed from being sold because of that? But that's not the only reason. I think that inside the company, they are already, like, I already consider them to be a Western company. Square, Capcom, and Koei Tecmo are considered, in my opinion, as Western company. They will give you a little bit of crumb, so a good design of Kami, and then go for the Marisa model. And then you have some simp being like, oh, big, uh, I like my big muscle mommy. I won't lie. We all know how a good design for a muscle mummy is. But they're so depraved of good design that they will take anything. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't let that shit happen to me though. So in my opinion, I will wait and see. Because as much as I understand why Square doing what he does, doesn't mean that they're not paying to do to the woke mind virus. In, in my opinion, that's a real question. Will they learn? Because right now, the mobile market is exploding with games that just want money. And I'm ready to give it. Like, I will take my social security check and give it to them because they give me what I want. I don't need a shelter. I can live in a cardboard box and play my video games. All I need is electricity, <laughs> but that's me. On that note, don't forget, be a little bit evil and stay passionate. It's like an absolute god and evil disguised as good. Wow. Yeah. Wow, there's no such thing as content that doesn't make everyone uncomfortable. Wow, that guy is based as fuck, but he's all Japanese, man. Because beauty and ugliness, good and evil, are different for everyone. Holy shit. There are a few things that are absolutely must not be done. As long as you follow those, you're free to do the rest. Yeah, that's true. There's like rare things that we can all agree that, oh yeah, you don't do that. There's a religious concept from the West, especially in America, that influences their approach to sex education, right? Oh wow, he knows about America. And their approach to compliance is really narrow-minded. Wow. When selling manga in America, if anything had to be categorized by age groups. Yo, stop! This interview is too based for me. Holy shit. For Shonen Jump manga, they couldn't be sold unless they were rated for ages 13 and up. Yo, send me that. Because there's a risk of lawsuits. The company also has to get insurance. Doing business with such a ridiculous country is really frustrating. Whoa! Because of that, Japanese also gets ne negatively influenced. In Dragon Quest, you used to be able to choose between a male and female main character, but now you can't choose between a man and a woman anymore. We have to label them type 1 and type 2. I really wonder who's even complaining about this. <laughs>